All right, guys, so it's been a full day since I reconstituted this full gallon of liquid dirt. Um, it's been basically dissolving overnight, and it looks really black. Uh, we'll see how that turns out after I dilute it. But I left enough newt uh, inside of this container just so that I could make a full gallon of it at the specifications that's listed, which is, I think, one teaspoon per half gallon or two teaspoons for a full gallon. Um, a teaspoon is basically equivalent to five milliliters, so 10 milliliters per gallon is what I'm shooting for. This is a 10 milliliter syringe. So this is what your new gallon should look like after it's been diluted. Go ahead and save that here. And then this is liquid dirt. Now the instructions for the full gallon is to reconstitute this, then take a half cap, blue cap of this, transfer it into a one gallon container with water, and that is now your mix. Um, from that, you would then give one cap, one blue cap full of this mix to one of your house plants once a month. Um, I'm probably going to do something a little different, but I just want to see what the dilution looks like to get to be uh, fair. And so basically, I already pre measured what this cap can fill, um, and it's actually essentially 10 milliliters for this cap. So I have to transfer a half cap of this, so five milliliters, into this jug over here. I don't want to spill, so and we'll just overflow this into this jar, I guess. Jeez. I'm actually going to rinse this syringe out so there's no contaminants from one to the other. Oh, I almost forgot. It's actually a half cap, so that's actually five mils. expecting it to be this dark. Um, so again, this is still concentrated. This form of liquid dirt, um, at this stage, then the further dilution instruction is to give one of these blue capfuls of this jug, so 10 milliliters of this, per plant per month. So I'm back because originally my idea was to add, you know, anywhere from 10 to 50 milliliters or even more of this into another jug of water, gallon of water, to do a further dilution. But I mean, at that point, I'm just, there's volume added, and so it's no longer the dilution um, that I would want. Uh, it would overflow. And so I'm actually just, you know, I'm, this is the concentrate on the liquid dirt. I'm probably at this point um, going to start off with half a mil of this concentrate and just put it straight into a gallon to see. Um, if that transparency is similar to the newt. Uh, so basically this was a half blue capful. So five milliliters of this went into here. So 
my goal, <laughs> I have to get a smallest syringe. My goal now is probably to start off with half a milliliter of this uh, and transfer it into here and see what that transparency looks like and work up from there. Um, so let's give that a shot. I do want to remind you guys that where I'm at right now, all the shelves are fully stocked with water. So it's not like I'm taking away fresh water, bottled water from people who want it or are looking for it. Um, that's not the case where I am. So this is a half mil of this liquid dirt that I'm going to put into a fresh jug of water, uh, whereas this one had five milliliters. So that's that's pretty crazy because even even a uh, a half milliliter of this diluted down again for uh, another full gallon um, results in a transparency that's I want to say about two times darker or more two times more concentrated than the new gallon. This is obviously super subjective, um, but that's what it looks like to me. If I tried this experiment again, um, I might even just get, a, like, an, I have an em empty gallon jug I could just fill with tap water and then put in a quarter milliliter and see if that lands any closer to this. So let me go ahead and do that and um, I'll be right back. I refilled this empty jug with filled with water uh, I don't really care whether it's distilled or not, just because this is more for demonstration purposes to show you the transparency after different amounts of dilution. So again, this is the new with the 10 mils, um, the equivalent, I think, of what, like two teaspoons, um, as recommended by new in here. And then this liquid dirt, the recommendation is to put one half, one half cap full of this blue cap which is equivalent to five mils into a jug. And it came out looking like this, which was super concentrated. So then I tried um, 0.5 milliliters in here. And 0.5 milliliters is still darker than the, the new gallon. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add in 0.2 milliliters to this jug, and we'll see what that comes out to looking like. Um, my suspicion is it will either come out looking like new, maybe even a little more dilute than new, but you know, again, I don't know. I mean, and this stuff is so concentrated that even the amount that's on the outside of the half cap is gonna be probably enough to skew this a little, so I'm just kind of remove as much as I can, but I think realistically. Oh. That might have been just a little bit extra from what was in the hub. Um, Let's just shake this around. All right, so this is five mils, 0.5 mils, and 0.2 mils. Actually, if you compare these two, this is pretty close now, but I would even, I would still say that liquid dirt at 0.2 mils from this super heavy concentrate um, is still just slightly subjectively darker. I hope you guys can see that and appreciate that. Um, now I went ahead and did the math just ahead so that I could share that with you. But essentially at this dilution of, of taking 0.2 mils from this gallon bag will net you basically 18,927 gallons of this. Um, and again, I bought this for $300, so 
They sleep at three hundred dollars. I'm able to make eighteen thousand nine hundred twenty-seven of these gallons. That comes out to one and a half cents per gallon. Um, now, this new I got, you know, during the trial subscription, it was like I think nine dollars for nine gallons. So, uh, but if you end up getting their monthly subscription, it's going to be much higher than that, and or less depending on whether or not you're actually doing referrals and uh, posting social media, in which case you get free uh, free kickbacks from your referrals and social media posts. So I guess if you're like very intensive on social media and that's your thing, then you'll probably actually rack up a good amount of free samples, uh, in which case it might be way more cost effective, but I'm not really about that life. So again, for me, during this trial sample period of nine gallons for nine dollars this gallon is a dollar and this gallon is a you know, one and a half cents um just to give you an idea of cost comparison um and again for me my application is going to be both indoor and outdoor realistically when it comes to what tropical plants any indoor house plant is really an outdoor house plant that's been you know adapted or been selected for to do well in an indoor house environment. And not even necessarily that because most of our tropical plants prefer higher humidity and most people's ambient house humidity, depending on where you live, is gonna be you know 50% or less. So um, again, I don't know what to tell you other than I'm going with liquid dirt. It covers a broader spectrum of plants, both indoors and outdoors. It's meant for vegetable gardens as well. When I work in the vegetable garden, I'm probably essentially going to be using something more concentrated like this um, for the fact that I'll be adding water over the plants. It'll dilute this through the soil. There's actually a way for you know all the, the solutes to leach out of the soil versus an indoor potted plant. Um, unless you're going to be flushing your pots with excess water, there's really nowhere for that. All the, all the nutrients to go. So I don't want to burn my indoor house plants. I'm probably going to start off with this and see what that lands me. Um, and if I start seeing leaf burn on some of the plants, then I'll go down even further. But um, my hunch is that most of the plants will thrive on this. Maybe for propagations, I'll dilute this even further um, just so that all those brand new uh, feeder roots don't get burnt. But yeah, uh, I hope this was informative. Basically, I bought this gallon, which came um, with just basically black powder, like very, very fine, what they call nano powder. And then I reconstituted it, dissolved it with a gallon of water, left it overnight. Uh, it turned out to look like this. And then from here, for this gallon, I put in as best as I could, 0.2 milliliters. Um, I don't, at first when I started with this gallon jug, I started with a tunnel syringe. Um, and same with this new, I used a tunnel syringe. But then as I was getting down to these two gallons, I wanted a smaller syringe. I don't have any one mil syringes lying around right now. Um, realistically, uh, I don't necessarily know if I would advocate buying those supplies online just because COVID-19 issues, but if you have them lying around, that's great. They're usually really cheap for syringes, so all you need is one just so that you can make these dilutions accurately. Uh, but yeah, um, if you have any questions, maybe leave them in the comments and then uh, hopefully I can get back to you. Maybe um, someone else will also be able to answer your questions. Thanks. So I'm doing one last video. Uh, clearly not everyone has syringes. Mm -hmm. It's fair, uh, but I want to show you guys how you could do this dilution instead of using syringes, just using a spoon. So again, I had made a dilution of 0.2 milliliters of this super concentrate um, using a syringe, and the equivalent of 0.2 mils is really four drops of any liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to spoon out four drops into this uh, fresh one gallon jug and see if we can't achieve the same thing. It comes out 
looking that like that, almost like a really thick soy sauce. Not thick, but just a dark soy sauce. So one, two, three. Four. So that was four drops. So there you go. Here you have it. I say it worked out pretty well. And again, this is very subjective, but from my perspective, the liquid dirt is still a tad darker than the new one gallon so um you know and that might just be from the fact that newt has other additives all uh, right sorry excuse me liquid dirt has other additives in it in addition to what newt has so potentially whatever other um, additives are darker might change the color um, so again that's all really subjective but take it for what you will um, and that's probably how i'll end up mixing it in the future uh, typically i would use a syringe but you know honestly a spoon and counting out four drops is also just as easy.